Good afternoon. This is the WH William Hill. <sighs> Get right head up on the mountain here. Snow today in May. That's one thing I could tell the father. Hey, I never saw snow in May. <sighs> it's been a rough week. No. The roughest thing about being a human is having a heart. And sharing your heart. And so, I figure I share with you the truth. When the book was written from the beginning, and I'll go back to Adam and Eve in the garden, you had two trees the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, that's what we have consumed over the years. The first tree that was consumed was the tree of life. And that's during Abraham, mainly at Moses, to the time of the arrival of Jesus Christ. See, that book represented it life. God coming in the form of life. That's why the disciples put their hands on Jesus Christ and said, we have touched the word of God. Think about that. Because through the Tanakh, you know, the book of Moses, through all the prophets, Jeremiah, Isaiah, even Daniel, Ezekiel, and even King David, that's when King David says, The Lord said to my Lord, Set at my right hand, while I make your enemies thy footstool. See, if you look at the name of God, Yahweh, the YHWH, on the right side you see the YH. That's Yeshua HaMashiach. That's Jesus Christ. And on the left side, at the end times, to bring in the new times, is the WH. And guess who that is? He says, that is me. Well, that is the who, what, why, when, and where. That's knowledge. Where are we at? Well, anyway, before I get too far ahead of myself. So... When Stephen was stoned at the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, he looked up to heaven and says, I see the Son of God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, set the right hand of God. And they laid the coats before Saul, who was the Roman Jew. Well, you think he got that position overnight? Yet, he didn't write anything Jesus said in the flesh, did he? Like, according to the letters of John. Yet, he goes out and persecute and kills them. And even in his letters of the Galatians saying, Oh, John, James, and Peter seems to be pillars, blah, blah, blah. And you all believe everything he did. Only thing he did was went in the villages, called them out, flipped the words around, create... He is the representative of the dragon that went out to spew water and everybody drank it up because the sound is so similar. And that enraged the dragon because people saw Jesus in the flesh and were amazed and mesmerized by his teachings, by his knowledge of the Lord, of God. I'm tired of being with simpletons. Just read the book and divide it because the New Testament is the book of knowledge of good and evil. Jesus Christ might not have been, he's probably the most perfect person that walked the earth, but he's just like us in a sense where we're not totally perfect in a sense. We fall, we trip, we stumble. We tumble. But at least know your master 
You can't have two masses because you'll hate the other. And that's what we dealt with for 2,000 years. That's why we go through wars. That's why we can't compromise half the time. Because we go on Paul's side and keep changing the laws and doing this and that. Instead of living a simple, beautiful life that God created for us. And the seven churches, Ephesus, that's Judaism. Smyrna, that's Jesus bringing the words from the Father. The next church, I can't remember right now, what was that? That's Christianity. Yeah, Smyrna, uh, shit, Pergamos. Well, that's Paul's church when... Barnabas went up, heard the the real true gospel reach Antioch. Oh, he's like, I better go get Paul real quick. Or Saul at the time. But you know, he got converted to Paul to change the word on the Allen of Cyprus or Crete or whatever Allen it was. From Bar Jesus. Remember that story? Bar meaning son, son. You see how they twist the words? The Romans was just trying to cover their ass like every damn government does, just like right now with the corona debacle. All that was is a money maker for Big Pharma to control the people. And we see how it controls us. Oh, yeah, it might solve the flu or corona or COVID or whatever you want to call it. 99.98% chance. Yeah, it might solve that. But it gives you a hell of a lot of other problems down the road where the doctor's going to be in business and the pharmaceuticals can make up so much more money. Oh, now I've got chest problems, respiratory problems. Oh, my heart hurting now. Oh, my brain. Oh, my, all this and all that. Oh, good. We could be little saviors and keep giving y'all medicine. Come on, people. And I'm living on my last dollar after working 40 years like a damn slave. And you expect me to say, I love America. Horseshit on you. I am American. This government is corrupt. And money hungry. Yeah, they make the money on the back end, but blowing our money and putting us in debt where we're slaves to the system. I call BS on this. We should have a better life. So let's get our heads together and let's be a people. Mm, I'll get ready to cry because doesn't America stand for we the people. Let's do it. Bye. Love you.